Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Greatness, and today we have uh, Game of Thrones Telltale. This is uh, Season 1, Episode 4, Part 3, and uh, yeah, um, we uh, finish off last episode with a pretty uh, emotional sort of finish, um, but I guess now, yeah, we'll start Part 3, and uh, yeah, we'll start playing uh, Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 4. So, uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the content, and, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start it. Alright, here we go. Alright, so, we're back in King's Landing. <laughs> you shouldn't say that. <laughs> Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. Mm. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend. But then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up mm. to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. And I'm not really interested in joining you on her bad side. Please, Sarah. I know you're probably angry with me, but I need your help. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Please. <sighs> Fine. Mm. But you owe me, understand? That's fine. But then again, when they when you owe somebody something in the She's game, it's in a very like important situation. So we'll stay out of trouble. Mm. I promise. I could always like um. Yeah, they always match like like if they say that oh do you keep a small promise, medium or large promise? Yeah, so like, it's strange to celebrate, doesn't it? When you it? have to pay it back, they normally so they don't like, Joffrey, just be like oh you know just do this like key thing like nah it'll match up. Long so. he reign. What the Sarah. what we have to do for that? Uh, who knows? I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This mm. is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Yeah. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. Sorry, Mira. He gets a bit carried away. <laughs> you flatter me. Mm. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just mm. be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Mm. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! <laughs> Damn, you got shut down. What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> oh, really? My ears are not we delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Let alone. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Is there someone you'd rather be talking to? I'm sorry. I, I I'm I'm rather thirsty. Oh, mm. allow me. No. I can get it myself. Thank you. If you'll excuse mm. me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe it. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That and is food. it! Mm. Andros, you're being ridiculous! Imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've mm -hmm. simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? 
No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Mm. I heard he was killed. Right here in the garden. Well. Wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Mm. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Damn, alright, so I still don't know that I killed him. Let's not get too much gossip. No, we're not gonna eat. Um. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Mm. But how did you manage it? Mm. Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Alright, no answer there. So obviously he doesn't even give a shit about his family. Telling the joke, remember? Mm. All right. Sarah, Lord Tarwick. Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira's interested in. Mm. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. I can keep a secret, can't I, Sarah? Tell me about yourself, Lord Tarwick. Me? Well, I'm a traveler, I suppose. Fought for the Sea Lord of Bravos. Lived in Volantis for a time. Even sailed to Slaver's Bay once. What was mm. that like? Sweaty. But now I just want to settle down, try something a bit more permanent. Mm. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. Hello again, Lady Mira. Mm. Goodness, Mira. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Please excuse me. Oh, really? So we only had one option. Oh, shit. Damn, I guarantee Mira's gonna give me a lot of crap for that. Okay, um... Should I talk to... Uh, it's probably gonna be Lord a Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. Mm. It can't be good for the Constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scared me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that mm. either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mira. Okay, why do I have a feeling that that's, that was something that we shouldn't have done? Ha 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 
<laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. Mm. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. Mm. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? No, I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's mm. right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? Mm. It appears that you know most of the story already. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. Mm. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. That man would be nothing without me. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Mm. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Ah, oh, that was why he was. Handmaiden. We need your opinion he here. wasn't too fond of him <laughs> before. Him I'm not fond of him. Please excuse just... me. Yeah. He didn't like him anyway. Alright. Let's talk to this guy. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Ah. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. Mm. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals happen. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Mm -hmm. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. You can trust me, Lord Lyman. I won't tell anyone. I... well... I suppose Lyman. I could just... What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You mm. stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My mm. lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Uh -oh. Thank you so much. Oh, we could have. That was. Uh, I could have gone real bad real quick. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. 
Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. Mm -hmm. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Oh, fuck. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. Mm. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Mm. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Mm. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well... Maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Mm. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Okay, looks like we have our opportunity to talk to Lyman again. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's... an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Mm. Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Mm. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. Mm. He spilled your secrets. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... You bloody traitor. You promised me! Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. You will look back at me, you watch, yeah. Yeah, motherfucker, that's me. Yeah, it's up. 
Lady yeah. Vera, we throw on hands. What's up? Very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that? I hope. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. You mad, bro? You mad? Damn. You know what? That episode was so good. Like, I don't think we could have anything else. Like, oh man, that was just perfect. Um, even though this might be a little bit shorter than normal, uh, I think we might leave the video here. Um, that was just, that was just a great, um, sort of, um, scene. Um, yeah, I mean, to have a video and just have other content in, like, another area just seems... Like, it would just be a shame for some of that to happen. Um, so I think we'll leave the video up here. And, uh, yeah, definitely will be... Like, that's the thing. I definitely will be making the whole entire... Like, the videos will be... will cover the whole the whole episode, so don't worry about that. But, uh, yeah. Um, man, that was just such an awesome, like, sort of moment. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So we, we reached to the end of the video. So, uh, yeah. So if you like the video, please like the video. And if you want more of my content, please subscribe. And I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you all in another video. Thanks.